Can you die from holding your breath? So what happens when you hold your breath for a very long time? In the beginning, if you're able to relax, you might feel a meditative state where you're able to block out everything around you, especially if you're doing repeated breath holds. The next stage is you'll start to feel uncomfortable pain in your lungs. The most common misconception about holding your breath is that you're running out of air. You are not. It is actually CO2 building up in your blood from not exhaling, making you feel like you're running out of air. The third thing that will happen is your stomach starts to convulse and contract. This is because your diaphragm is trying to force you to breathe. Then you might feel lightheaded. As CO2 builds up to higher and higher levels, it pushes the oxygen out of your bloodstream and reduces the amount of oxygenated blood traveling to your brain. Your lips also turn blue. Your body may then start to shake as your muscles begin to uncontrollably contract before you black out. Your brain badly needs oxygen, so it knocks you unconscious so your automatic breathing mechanism will kick in. If you are underwater, you will probably inhale water into your lungs and then you might drown. If you hyperventilate before holding your breath, you get rid of a lot of the CO2 in your blood and you might just jump from feeling relaxed to blacking out and drowning without feeling any of the other steps. That is why you should never hyperventilate when holding your breath underwater, because you never know when you will black out. So can you die from holding your breath? Yes, but not if you're above water. When you black out, your body automatically starts breathing again. Your lungs would gasp for air since you're programmed to inhale and exhale, even if you're unconscious, like when you're asleep. If you're underwater, the gasp for air may let in some huge volume of water. Inhaling water isn't always fatal if you are restituated by CPR or have water pumped out of your lungs immediately. But in most cases, blacking out underwater from holding your breath is deadly. There are actually some benefits of learning to hold your breath longer. Holding your breath as well as generally improving breathing and lung function has useful and potential life-saving benefits, including 1. Increasing lifespan by preserving the health of stem cells. 2. Possible regeneration of new tissue in the brain to preserve brain function. This is theoretical in humans, though studies have only been done on salamanders. 3. Increased resistance to bacterial infections. 4. Learning how to make yourself feel more relaxed and relieve stress. 5. A theory is also that a person who has trained over a longer time to hold their breath is better suited to recover from strokes as you condition the nervous system to be used to lower level of oxygen. If you want to read more about this, there is an article linked in the description. In the article you can also find links to researches regarding the health benefits. I hope you found this helpful, have a nice day, and remember to subscribe for more things like this.